Base is 37 welcomes Max Spears with his fiance Sarah Adams on English soil in Canterbury. This gate, this is the west gate here, yeah. and this is a thousand years old. Yeah. Um, and so, so Canterbury itself is uh, 1300 years old. The Archbishop of Canterbury itself uh, was the equivalent of the Pope um, in this at the Church, the Church of England. He, he was the Church of England as opposed to the Church of Rome. Yes, but they were equal, in terms of power. They were equal, equal. So they were always fighting. They were two different. Um, they were two different. Of what era are you talking about? You're talking well before King Henry VIII. Well, this, you, have, you have. Oh yeah, way before. Way, way, way before. Yeah. Initial. Ten, uh, this, uh, it took 150 years to build the, uh, the the cathedral. Yeah. 150 years to build it. It started in 900 AD. And this is Norman. Oh yes, and, and uh, yes, Saxon. Nor uh, essentially, yes. Uh, yeah. But, but that's what. Yeah. Uh, this is cool. Yeah. And apparently, you know where I, why, uh, you know who I am. I do know who you are, and, and I do also, you know where I live? And I also know because in Belfast we always know where you live. And I also know who's buried where I'm going to show you um, who I was. Right, excellent. Now this uh, is round. This is quite recent it, architecture. Isn't it? But because, because but uh, they didn't yeah. want, because if they made it square, the, de the, 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 the demons could hang on to the top of it. So they made it round like that, so they'd slip off. I thought it was by cannonballs. No. No. So the dimensional entities. Yes, and that's why they did that. This is all. This is all sacred geom geometrically done as well. You can't see it but here. It had to be hyperspatially. Yeah, absolutely. Absolute. This is multi-dimensional right here. Multi-multi-dimensional. When you, the interesting thing is, when you walk through the center here, you get. Uh, if you're sensitive, you get the feelings. Yeah, the old churches have that. Wait till you see this one. Yeah. Come and on, it's amazing why old churches have it, but maybe new ones don't. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Understand, I understand um, strategy and uh, sacrifice. That's, that's uh, chess you're referring to? Yes, four, year, chess. four years chess champion at, that school, at the school that we, where you were at the Kent University. Chess is based on what? Chess is based on the duality that must be maintained in this 3D realm. And that's why it was created. Why does it have black and white squares all over it? It has black and white squares to make sure that you maintain the 3D here. Because if it was all black squares or all white squares, there would be no more 3D. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The unicorn is tethered. What's the purpose? No, why at that point in that date, 1858, why isn't it tethered? Because neither one was beating the other one. <laughs> this, is, this is a war. I mean, this is, I mean, this is, this is a number. Um, you've, you've got a big. Uh, so the lion. Got a big war between the Syrians and the um, Alpha Draconis, and, and uh, this is the symbolic of that. What is the purpose of you being a unicorn? The white, the white horse. Yeah. We'll talk about that. And that's chess. That's not chess. No. No, but interestingly enough, it ties in with the knight, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know. Why? Do, well, we can talk about it. This is the it. golden key. Yes. Next to the dragon. That's if you don't have the key, you can't get out of here. And you're trapped again in the Ouroboros loop. And I'm done because I've done it four times already. This time we're doing the, what we're doing now. We've done four times before. You've done it before. Done it four, and we fucked up each yeah. time before. And I'm not going to do it this time. Good. I'm gone Good. this time around. Good. So if you want to stay, stay. <laughs> Check out um, the, the symbols and the, uh, the angel. I mean, ob uh, obviously, an angel in itself isn't really an angel on a cloud. It's a higher vibrational being. So, it's, but it had, everything has to be in a code. The, uh, the Christ figure in the center is um, Lucifer and Christ being the same being. Um, is would be the light bearer, the one to uh, uh, wake people up. If you look around, people have no clue what we're talking about, and there has to be somebody to wake up 
everybody else, otherwise we're fucked again for another 10,000 years. I'm not doing it. So until nine o'clock tomorrow morning, tomorrow morning, they won't allow us to go in. Drones are fit for me, only spiral staircases. Drones are fit for me. Look at the flowers. Good Remember picture. the Cabalis, the flower of life for the fragile. Yes, I do. I want to get a picture. Oh, perfect. I wonder who she is. Victoria? Victoria was fat. Henry VIII. It goes, it goes <laughs> in the line. That's Henry the Second. Henry the Eighth. Elizabeth. I don't know. Some of these are not. See what's they're popes and kings and queens. Yeah, I guess that's symbolic with this place. That good old reptilian, King Henry. Oh, they're all, yeah, they're all reptilian. Yeah. But they're all they well, you, with you them. have the you have both the fallen and the not fallen mixed into these bloodlines. So you have incarnate the ones of higher yeah, and lower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's specific that they can only incarnate in certain bloodlines, and so you have them mixed in. So it's interesting. And it's all it's funny. It's a because war. It's a, it was a war between. Um, families to get that crown why do they want the crown of England because why in England there's most dragon line crosses the most dragon lines cross if you think about it though that the flower of life when it's, when it's lit up in mm -hmm. you you're connected to all the realms and you're connected definitely to the higher and the cr king's crown actually represented his crown chakra being open open to source not rather him having wealth or power here. Or crown chakra. Yeah. yeah, the crown chakra. And that's all been lost. It's really sad. Okay, I think we did good in the uh, echoey place. Look, it's almost the realms and the hierarchy. Because if you look, if you back up, there's the lion and the white horse up there. Where? It's almost like the levels in a way including the stones going up all the way up to there is the levels of the, of the dimension.
two of my friends right there. It's always a point. I mean, you can always swim out higher. It's infinite how yeah. high you can go. And welcome to Bases 37 in Broadstairs in Kent, the home of Charles Dickens. His house in the background there and the beautiful beach ahead of us. This is Bases 37 and it's the home of Max Spears that we're now visiting in England. And we're going to discuss his history, his background and all things in between. We start part one with Sarah Adams herself. Sarah will be interviewed again, and then in part two, we'll have Max Spears himself interviewed at Well Cottage in Honey Street. Well, hello, Sarah. Hi, Miles. We met a year ago. Yes. And you said some fantastic things. Yes, and I didn't and quite... And you want to add to that? Yes, because I didn't quite explain it well. So go ahead. I guess I didn't explain it that a lot of stuff had happened interdimensionally on that vi on the other video that I did or other interview that I did and I also didn't explain a lot of spiritual things aspects so what was different okay so I um since then a lot more things have happened and on a spiritual level for me and also physical level and the fact that I um I think I'm going through different stages of learning more things, including about the spiral staircase and about how important the water in our bodies it, it is to keep them it clean or good because the water in our bodies is what allows us on a spiritual level to be connected and also it allows us to do things like astral travel, astral projection and things like that. So it's very important we keep that clean or or clean it. Well, it's, the water is also consciousness too, in a way, and it's also portal. As you, you know, there's a lot of UFOs. There's Russia just let out an article where UFOs go through water, and there's also movies coming out like Oblivion where they were actually taking the water and stuff like that. So water is very, very important because it does hold all life within it. And I think the BP a well spill was specifically done to open portals to lower dimensions because by dirtying the water or harming the water you can either make portals from lower or higher dimensions more this clean. Is, this is very important because I've interviewed a wonderful a lady in this country called Maria Wheatley mm -hmm. and she describes how the, the deep water, mm -hmm. deep water of the earth which has got an energetic spiraling energy which is what you see in a lot of the standing stones yes and that water when it comes up into the surface is a healing water it's a it's positive thing it's pure life force actually in france i read about um i read an article on it back when i was in france that they were taking that water and they it it were doing transfusions with it instead of doing blood transfusions they were doing they were mixing the blood in and then putting that into the people, tra doing transfusions with that. And actually the people would come out really, really healthy and well after. It was missing one molecule and they could mix it with the blood type and actually put it in transfusions. So I, I, I believe what she said about that. But from an alarming situation in this country, they're going r massively ahead with deep fracking to disturb that water. Well, it's disturbing the whole earth, that's the thing. And the earth is actually an arc. It has, like I said, it has all sorts of DNA or all, it's an arc of DNA and it's an arc of beings. And it's an arc of, there's, there's things here that there isn't anywhere else. And it's a, like a precious gem. And I think there are certain entities or beings that are after they're, they need those things, so they're after it to exploit it and use it for what they want to do with it. I mean, something we've been just discussing in Basis 37 with um, 
with Max is he's referring to a series of beings which are exploiting this world for tensions and darkness and Well, I was listening to him and I actually think he was streaming in certain beings that just certain beings when I was listening to him but I I didn't actually hear that part of it because I, I didn't hear that part of it but he's saying that what did he say about that exactly he, he was saying that, that uh, there are a number of uh, be deities or beings from the lower realms which are um, causing stresses within the duality that right. we're dealing with to, so they will have pleasure at the expense of right. the lower, so, well, that's well the, thing. the middle classes or the, the, lower, the other people with this pain. Is why, and this is why you have people who abuse children and people who do very vile things because the, whenever you're at the bottom, you can't feel. You're pretty much, you're, um, you're desensitized. And the ones at the top of the staircase are hypersensitive. And the ones at the bottom of the staircase or spiral staircase or bottom of the DNA, they're not hyper. -sensitive. And you've been going through a lot of these, going up and down a lot of these spiral staircases well, yeah, here. Yeah, I've been exploring them. I have been exploring them. And um, I necessarily don't go down into the depths. I think there's, there's. I just recently found out about... Um, uh, some series, oh, and, he, and she, she goes up and down the spiral staircase. It's really interesting in there. The 39 steps. You no, know, no, it's um, something 666, 666 Park Street 666, I think, or Park House 666, something like that. And they, it didn't Is run. Is that in the United States or yes, in this country? Yes, it was actually in the United States and it didn't run very long. What I'm trying to say is the reason that they do very vile things to children and stuff, because children have come here with massive amounts of energy and they need to absorb that energy to fill. And since that they haven't done the, de the, the things to go up the ladder, they're at the bottom where they don't fill. So they absorb that energy and for a short instance, they are able to fill through that energy. And that's why we have abuse on people. We have abuse on animals and we have abuse just going on in mass because the lower beings are using the bodies and they are acting out so that they can experience some sort of sensation. The beings that are very high up are hypersensitive. And for them to be, when they incarnate here, when they're harmed, actually the thing is, is that they get very, very... Um, the lower beings get very high because they can absorb the energy from the higher beings that incarnate here. And that's why often you will have lower beings that target higher beings that are here. It's all about energy and DNA and the spiral staircase. And those who are void of energy have to steal it and to keep money or status or whatever. They have to harm others to steal the energy so that they can stay at a certain point of power or certain level whenever they lose that stream of energy they go crashing back down and most oftentimes they can die or the people people who have let them use them will die the bodies will die because that soul has done a soul deal to let them let itself be used so that it could have some sort of power or status in this world so we have a lot of that going on because I wanted to address the um, abuse that was going on with children and people were asking me why, how is it that people can abuse children? It really isn't people, it's lower entities or lower energies that is accessing bodies and acting out. And even with murderers, I mean, you can, you can, you can research this. A lot of murderers, they, a lot of them don't quite, there are, are very, very many pit cases where the person, literal person doesn't know what happened. And it was actually the entity or being that went into that person and acted out, used the body to act out. And that's why we need to go ahead and we need to, on a soul level, be in be the pilot of our body rather than the autopilot because when we're the autopilot and when we're oblivious to things then we can become literally s become the victim and be used to act out on those around us how does this give us a solution for this tremendous child abuse that's going on in this i country? think that the thing is with humanity we're sp everybody here or all species are everything here is it's is, is actually it's it's like a bit of experiment also but 
the thing is is that people need to spiritually cleanse themselves of entities and everything else like that and leeches and everything else like that everything else how do they do that and okay it, through it's, it's simple through diet through I mean, just simply by merging your altars too, because a lot of people have been harmed when they were children. I, I, I recently t talked to one lady and she worked with a lot of people and she told me out of every 10 people she talked to, only one had not been abused. That means the nine others had been abused as children. So it's in mass, the abuse that children have are suffering. And so a lot of these people walking around have had some sort of abuse one way or another and it has caused them to split somewhat so by w awakening ourselves spiritually we can go ahead and merge that and process that because karmically what happens is when you do that to child and so most times people who do these things don't even remember they've done them because they've been taken over, like I said, by an entity or a being that uses the body and that person was asleep the whole time. They don't know. It's almost like hypnotism. They don't know what's happening. So what's we essentially we the lots of times the person who's acting out is a victim of, of possession in a way. And we need to instead we we'd be locking probably over half the world up if we were going after the perpetrators of all of this without addressing the cause and whether it be with murderers or child abusers or people who do terrible things as such as animal abuse we are not addressing the cause that these people are being accessed by other things that are acting out through them and the whole world would be in trouble if if we went after each other for these things acted out because nobody, a lot of people do and don't even remember, and that's the sad part about it, because they're also being used on an energetic level. Because when somebody like that would remember, think about it, they would feel awful and terrible, and they wouldn't know what happened. So um, I think we need to, hopefully in the future, we'll have healing centers that'll use technology such as um, cameras that see all auras, um, I just noticed recently that they have uh, x-rays, can see faces or different things. In x-rays you can see faces and those are the entities showing up. Um, you well there's, a, car there's a, a researcher um, in this country called Dr. Harry Oldfield mm -hmm. who used a poly interference photography technique and he could see the entities in for instance crystals but for instance people who've done a lot of drugs mm -hmm. he would be able to see uh, it's an, another entity, another creature or being in, in a person. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I, I have the ability to see auras and to see that sort of stuff. So I'm, I'm very perceptive on that. But what we need is we need healing centers in the very near future where people can be put in in mass without them having to pay. I don't think it, it's not about that. It's about what can people do to make this kind of thing happen? Well, first of all, you have to train yourself to to become aware of when another presence is trying to affect you. How do people or trying do to that? infiltrate you? You know what? It's I I would think it's com coming out of the autopilot mode into the pilot mode. We our bodies are they're a temple. They're very special. They're very spiritual. On a DNA level, we have bodies that are amazing. The things that they can do are amazing. We were never meant to be locked in a computer body. We are meant to, that this body works on a spiritual level where we do go interdimensionally. We do travel to other yes. places. Yes. But we have been locked in a body through all of the d bad food, through many things, through programming. And well, stuff. we're being poisoned by to, the elite yes, or whoever. they're trying to lock you into a body yes. because you are energy and energy is very useful. And the thing is, is that we can actually start to light ourselves up through food, through simple things like meditation, prayer, acknowledging, just simply acknowledging ourselves and looking at ourselves in the mirror and acknowledging our faults and healing from them, being kind. And I'm not, I'm not a new ager, but there's simple things with emotions. Too. Well, new age is being heavily <laughs> discredited as a, as a sort of a CIA operation. It's actually, actually, it's yeah. ridiculous. I don't get along with a lot of new agers, but it's ridiculous. 
I think that there's a good theory about love because love is very, very important. And I think that in the end, love is going, our heart chakra, when lit up, is what's going to actually thwart everything because they seem to have got a hold of the rest of the chakras, but they can't really control the heart chakra. Yes. Yes, they can't control the heart chakra. Well, certainly, I have that. I have an issue with that, yeah. <laughs> yes, so the thing is, is that we need the centers in the future. I, We were given everything to take care of the crisis that we have now. Uh, we're just not addressing it, right? We have... I mean, if a colleague of mine has been guided to set up peace centers for peaceful coexistence, Mm -hmm. Is that the sort of thing you're talking about? I would say first we need healing centers because nobody's going to get along peacefully until we take care of this. This is a spiritual disease. This is a very spiritual disease. I mean, I'm holding, I'm holding a conference in Marlborough next, uh, th this August. I mean, uh, um, this is 2014. And there's a healing center there. I'd like to go to that. So that's, that's interesting that, that there's, you know, that's, ev that's evolved in, in a very conservative area. Of, of well, because people want literal proof of things, I think that us having tech that can actually show these things are here, even that pick up the rate, because they give off rate a certain frequency or radio waves that you can actually pick up. So we just need the tech to, we need the tech to What kind ahead. of radio wave? Is it something that people can get a meter for? You know, I a three dimensional yeah, thing? Yeah, we should. There, there's technology out there I've read about that you can go ahead and pick up the waves, and if somebody who does have something that's attached to them, their waves will be different. Yes, yes. So we need, in the future, we need technology that is, and it, it exists. We just need to bring it together. And this is, this is so that people who don't have the higher senses switched on, who can't see auras, that they can get this 3D technology well, usually to pick things up. Right. And uh, but then bring themselves up to a stage where maybe they'll be able to use their own senses right, to see things. Right, and that would be through food and through just through simple things like spirulina or chlorella or things like that because spirulina, talk about the spiral staircase, it has the spiral in it. Spirulina actually fixes your DNA and I can see that, I literally can see that on a level and, and sense it. And the thing is, is that we have the different fruits and vegetables for each chakra color. So we're trying to light up the chakras and align them. We're trying to light up the body so that you then become perceptive of the different things around you. And that's originally how humans were. What fruits and vegetables? A lot of people take very acidic fruits, um, but that's often been quite I would say food. just massive amounts of all sorts of fruits and vegetables. And because the colors, the colors just take an orange bell pepper, it's going to heal the orange in your body. And then, and this is why they've created synthetic colors because the fruits and vegetables will actually mirror off negative energies and get rid of them and it will strengthen your chakras. Whereas synthetic colors will go to into your chakras and will actually attract entities to you right. or yeah. feeding so to you. So again, our food is being manipulated to actually kill us or harm us. It's being manipulated to let us be fed off of on a, so we're being fed off of so it's we become food for yes, other entities. Yes. So the genetic, the GMO stuff is designed. To yes. The GMO is non-harmonic to the earth. Yes. So it, it, it attracts beings which are non-harmonic well, to earth the earth. Earth is a passion too. You're supposed to pass through here and continue on. There's many worlds. The problem is, is that lower beings are trying to keep people here and use them for energy or souls here and keep them, use them for energy and also when the higher beings come down to try to help, they get stuck here and fed upon. I mean, really this is badly something which too. Max was referring to. Yes. And uh, because you're supposed to continue your journey and it's this mass, it's infinite and continue to grow. And so far, I've noticed that in this system, people have been, or souls have been locked here or, or just there, they've been here for quite a long time and it's created a lot of issues and then of course we have from the previous we have things from previous um how would you put it from incarnations previous creations because there were a series of created and destroyed created and destroyed created and destroyed so we have that also seeping so i would say that when you merge yourself together though you won't have pr issues with this sort of stuff as much anymore. It, and in what way does one merge oneself together? Because uh, other people I've interviewed 
for, for basis is talked about bringing the soul to be fully contained within fully, the body. Yes. I've noticed a lot of people who've been through trauma, I can actually see the soul or sense the soul in back above them. And a lot of people walking around don't, they're more robotic. They don't have their soul merged into them. There's an awful lot of that. Right. Yes, so the souls continue in another, it's being harmed and the body is just being used by other entities because when the soul's in the body, it's not going to let entities come into it. It's going to guard that body, the vessel that it's in. However, when the soul's above the body, the body can be accessed by other things and used. And these How do we defend against this? How do we merge? merge? How merge do we do that? What, what's needed? You mentioned food. Just vegetables, proper real vegetables. I think it's start, you know, honestly, a lot of the things are st it's starting with a good diet and it's starting to actually to, you know, just acknowledge yourself and face yourself and actually want and have the heart to want to do better or get better or heal. Just the want, the very want of healing will actually aid you to, to merge. And you need to listen to yourself and yourself will often guide, your inner is going to guide you on how to merge because it knows how to merge your soul with yourself. I mean, I think a lot of people, though, are scared of it. They're scared of themselves. They're scared of how, how maybe do how... How help people remove that fear? I think to continuously remind them of how beautiful and how magnificent their soul is because it is and their soul i mean a lot of people are suffering in one way or another a lot of people are unhappy or they feel unloved or they're suffering in society and if they were merged they wouldn't have those sort of issues because they would surpass all of that so i think if we can give them inspire them also and so hey, look there's this here and you know i hear a lot of people who tell me they would like to astral travel or do this or do this i can say that the most beautiful experiences i've had is when i laid in bed and went off into the stars and had amazing amazing experiences and once you merge you can do that and you'll come back and you'll remember them and you'll have the experience here and it's quite a beautiful thing you can't imagine how beautiful it is and there's all sorts of, of this is something we've we've heard from the Sasquatch, the um, uh, the original uh, yes. beings, they yes. can go up to eight dimensions. Yes, they can do all this. And there's a, the books, the Anastasia yes, books I, from Russia. Yes, yes. About how all these things are, and and with all the, with the the trees and the plant life and the Earth's life itself. It's is about aware. becoming sensitive to. You have to become sensitive. Being sensitive is it is very important. Sensitive to energy. Like I said, the ones who are not well are those who are desensitized or at the bottom of the staircase. And we need to not be afraid to feel. And we, by feeling more and more and more, you become more and more sensitive. And as you become more and more sensitive, you become more and more sensitive to interdimensionality and to what's there. So when we, that's the whole goal is to become more sensitive so that and the energy flows through us from our soul and our higher the source connection we have it flows through us i think i went the other day to the dover castle and originally the king or a king he has a crown but the crown represented that he was connected to source energy and there was a very interesting um picture in there or i guess painting of a king with a halo and a crown and the angels point pointing to the halo the representation of a king's crown is the fact that he is connected to source energy. His crown chakra is lit up. And the, these are the things that we've forgotten. These are the things that are written everywhere to remind us. And those were Something which um, one of the other basic interviews is John Irwin refers to a predator mm -hmm. who wishes to stop, strip us of all this and, and eliminate us so they can solely inhabit this domain and even change it right and they want these bodies because the bodies on a level are able to ascend to other dimensions so they would use the soul as an energy battery and the body to do whatever they wished and they're after certain people around the world that have certain dna that go back from i said the grell bloodline or other ones they're after those sort of people too very very much because they know that those people had though that dna spiral has actually evolved 
and can actually, they're higher beings that came into a body and evolved the DNA. Does that make they sense? Short -circuited? Yeah, they short-circuited? Yeah, the higher beings incarnated into a body and evolved the DNA. And so all of the um, abilities of interdimensional walking or healing or all sorts of abilities, all sorts of things are within those DNA. And they what they want to do is they want to merge with that or, or I guess hack it you could say it's almost like hacking a computer that way they can go to other dimensions that they aren't allowed into do you think we're suffering from other beings who have hacked into our dimension oh yes and the we, other way yes around? and yes that's what and that's why we need these healing centers because we are and they it seems like there are the ones who are actually from higher dimensions are being very badly attacked by the badly attacked almost like by zombies of people who have access to higher dimensions they're being attacked by lower people with that are being accessed by lower entities or lower energies so it's it's right now the thing is is that i think for balance we we really need to address spiritual healing on the masses of the world in some of some of the world parts of the world there's going to have to be in-depth healing because of the fact that how was how do it's we been access for generations the, the generations 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 have been used to inhibit pain upon each other yes and it's so-called i don't want to put names but the, the so-called uh, dualistic religions i suspect have been actively involved with that well yes because of the fact that this you um you always have to you have to have a fight always going on to continuously steal energy. If nobody's fighting, you're not going to get any energy either. And you have to use that person's ego, and also you have to indoctrinate them to go ahead and use them as a chess piece. So it often happens as little kids. So you have different groups, religious groups around the world also, who are interfighting. I think to say that the religious writings are bad, I wouldn't go there. I would say that a lot of them are divine in the beginning and they were tainted by the lower beings that actually had the power to go into bodies and taint them and eventually use them. But originally they were divine and there, there's a lot of divine so enough, things. We must in that. clean up our, our, okay. ch our churches, our, 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 um, our religious centers to start with, do you think? Right, because that's where there's the most infiltration, actually. Is In other words, bring, bring the divine back to, the, to these wonderful religions which has helped so many people in the past, but right, are now Right, and the divine in the end, it's, it's, not, it's not going to have anybody fighting because that would be energy, energy stealing. How would you suggest people set up their own healing center? How, how do you suggest? suggest I, this is done just quietly just small stages and i would say because of the force right now that doesn't want us to um light up or to heal that you will have difficulty it's not an easy path but in the end it will pay off and you will open yourself up to things that you never knew were possible but it's whether or not that you want to do it also. it's got to do it quietly without being noticed. Right. And that's the thing. And that's the whole point of why last time, even I was told very many times I shouldn't have did the interview, that I should have like stayed and not have done that. Because I realized once I did, I had a whole bunch of um, things that I preferred that I didn't want. But it didn't. It hasn't kept me from doing what I wanted, going where I wanted, because I'm still always climbing higher and higher. But it has. It, it it definitely can cause a rift, and it definitely can. It definitely can cause where the people around you can be infiltrated also and be harmful to you. So you have to watch out specifically for friends, for family if you wake up because sometimes those can also be the most harmful to you because they're so indoctrinated in religion or they're also used because they're not awake themselves. Yeah, I mean, I'm aware with, with some friends that I, I have who are waking up tremendously powerful and having the most amazing things happen, but the family side is coming in sort of like, a, like on, the, on the back door. 
to well, cause them tremendous Right, and because trouble. you're related to them on a ge genetic level, they also are strenuous on that level, but you are affecting them. A lot of people approach me and tell me I'm not happy with my family. I think the preferable thing is, is to be nice to them and just to continue on your journey and eventually they'll wake up because they are connected to you on a genetic level level so eventually even they will wake up some way everybody everything but first is you must survive yourself so that right. can happen yes. so do you have to somehow isolate yourself i don't think it's about isolation i think it's about getting in touch with people that are like you that are more awakened and everybody can kind of help each other out because i think there's strength in 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 numbers and um I just think that you need to be aware when people are accessed by something and they're trying to harm you and avoid it and realize that it's not that person. That person, they're as much as a victim. Yes. yes. And that's, that's the thing. Otherwise, like I said, the whole world would be damned if not. And the thing is, is that uh, I would just say, say, start first with a very healthy diet and then just sit, just acknowledge yourself the first thing would be acknowledge yourself treat your body well first right and then it's forgiveness too because at night i go to sleep, go in bed and i lay down and i i'm and it's it can be very hard sometimes to forgive but i lay down and i i have to remind myself every night i forgive i forgive myself i'm i'm sorry to myself so it's also about creating a self-trust with yourself first and it's also creating a friendship with yourself or your soul because your soul will merge into your body when you trust yourself, when you love yourself, when you inspire yourself, when you treat yourself well, when you take care of yourself, is that's when your soul is then going to merge in your body because then it, it will, f especially because souls are from high, a lot of souls are from higher up, it won't be afraid. The reason it's out of the body is because it's afraid and it's disconnected and it's, it's detached because it's very afraid of everything here. Because even for me, when I was little, I, I remember massive amounts of traveling through the stars and universes and like I said I came through the sun and I'm not scared to sit here and say that and be aware that my family may actually see this I'm not, not afraid to say that because of the fact that I know eventually when they wake up they're going to experience things and they have experienced those things and they just don't remember and I can sit here and say that and say it was the most wonderful thing and it had saved me as a child. It has saved me. But I can say that the force here on earth definitely tried to bring me down, but it wasn't able to do that. And it's also it's about perseverance. And in the end, it's when I got here, I think I was traumatized because where I come from, you it's only the the sensations of feeling is millions of times more than here it's more, more sensitive up there because you, you have to realize you have all the energy stream through you so your sensation so the feeling is you feel and it was very hard here to feel like stuff that hurt or things like that especially mo emotionally for me or people harming each other to see things like that because i hadn't experienced those things very very much for i hadn't really experienced is that something them. you've had to experience to, as a learning yes i had to exp i had to experience that through learning and i would say that the on the in the higher realms there's some ha that have came down here a long time ago and they're still down here they've I got kind that. of caught yeah, I did that. and they don't remember who they are in the early parts of this of this basis mm -hmm. Max was referring to lower entities and how they dealing with things and also the spiral staircase mm -hmm. in the castles. Yes. And you've been to castles here in your brief visit now well, so I've been far. To, I've been you've been to, in, you, you've I've been been in England for about a week now? Yes, I've been to castles in France too. So this is a whole new experience to do this. Yes, and uh, I guess that it's... It's funny because even the castles are representation, very spiritual representations of many, many things, like I was saying. And people don't, I guess they pass through there and they don't acknowledge it. And it's, it's really sad because if we did have kings and if we did have kings that were actually, their crown chakra was lit up like representation. And at the scepter, the gold scepter, the scepter and the with the 
gems on it represents the king. He's being lit up and his crown chakra is lit up. He's, he puts his scepter out. He puts out his knowledge. Yeah. He puts out a higher divine knowledge to his people. And that's what in wisdom and in the way that he does things. And our leaders, they're not like that. Our leaders are very closed off and they're also being used by lower entities and lower things. So we no longer have kings that are lit up or their crown chakra is lit up. So the world is in a, such a way as it is and people are suffering also because our leaders aren't well. Well, this is something very important that uh, uh, somebody mentioned really in our closing section here, um, that essentially the Illuminati, the higher evolved mm -hmm. leaders of our culture across the world mm -hmm. were contaminated, they were accessed. They were accessed this by these lower entities. Yes, and I think it's because of their de them dealing with things that they weren't supposed to. I just I've noticed that the portal at Loch Ness is still open, and I've yes. known this since Max a little. Max was mentioning that about the, now how that's the Golden Dawn has done that, or what's happened well, there. I, I was um, at Loch Ness. I had an experience there. I'm really what fascinated was your experience by that. There, uh, my experience was uh, it was with a dear friend, and it was at the entrance to Loch Ness, mm -hmm. and I went. It definitely had missing time, like some kind of oh, yeah, event it's happened. It's warped there. And um, then suddenly a whole lot of people turned up. That's interesting. And because I was ordering a couple of pints of Guinness, you know, and this is when things get really serious, mm -hmm. but there was a major discontinuity. About eight minutes or so were lost, which my other American colleague noticed. See, and the other portal was supposed to be in San Francisco, apparently, if you remember. Did you read about that? No, I didn't know. And they, with the same sort of thing was happening. But the one at Loch Ness is actually the so can this be more intense one. Can this be closed? I mean, what's happened yeah, there? Yeah, it can Explain be closed. I just, I'm, I'm... It's still apparently open. Apparently Crowley, he just took off from there, from what I understand, or he totally got... He just totally took yeah, off from but there. But you mentioned a spider matrix or some kind. Spiders? Ah. Uh, Did you mention that? Or me. a web? I think Max might have. Um, not me. I, I think Max did. Right. Not the web. Yeah. Well, in closing, there's, mm -hmm. it's wonderful to have you here in Broadstairs. The home and, or not the home, but where Charles Dickens wrote many of his <laughs> great yes. works. Yes. And it's a lovely part of the country, the most eastern part of England. But the last time we met was at the Super Soldier Summit. Yes. And there's a few things happened there. Do you have any comments to mention about that? You know, honestly, there, honestly, with that, I would say, I was, ho I went to it also hoping that it would be something that was majorly enlightening. There was definitely some wonderful people there. Um, hopefully we can set up more conferences that are for healing and stuff like that. Yeah, like that's I just certainly the, the, the intention of the basis my, my basis project conference in, in August to celebrate humanity is changing. Yes, it's, and that's and it'd be what wonderful we need. if you could drop by and for that. It, it, and I have a massive amount of conspiracy theorists that follow me and they're asking me about this stuff and I'm trying to tell them like, you need to, you know, clear out your body and you'll start experiencing this stuff. Why are you asking me about this stuff when you can experience it yourself? I could never tell you, it's infinite. I could never tell you what I experienced and you want to find literal evidence. I'm sorry, but there is no literal, there is somewhat some literal evidence, maybe because we have cameras now that can capture photographs, you know, of things and stuff, but it's interdimensional. It's on an other level. It's I mean, not something can, that's sitting here yes, like the I mean, pillow. We can physically detect implants which send signals out but a lot of the implants the energetic implants you have to remove them energetically yes yes well thank you very much indeed thank you. there's been some pretty bad things happened since that conference well yeah i think it's about it's about higher beings that came down here and got caught down here and are dragons now and maybe they just have to remember and when they remember who they truly are they'll become kings and princes and princesses and queens because originally that's how they were. In some respects uh, it's been referred to as uh, the butler is now running the, 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 uh, the butler has taken over the, the, the manor, some people mm, have suggested. That, that's exactly what's happened, the jokers, 
Yeah. And the Jokers. The Jokers are acting like they're the kings. <laughs> okay, well, we'll have a brief pause and bring Max in to deal with this very serious issue which has exploded all the internet in the last year. Thank you. Thank you.